Traditionally, patients in need of orthopedic surgery have to undergo time-consuming, often complex CT scans. The scans, which use X-rays and computer processing to create detailed images of the body, expose patients to high doses of radiation. But that could soon be a thing of the past. Researchers at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology have now come up with a new AI-powered medical imaging technique to generate a 3D bone model drastically reducing radiation exposure. Traditionally, it is very challenging for human experts to derive the 3D structure of bones from biplane X-rays because biplane X-rays are primarily 2D images. Therefore, we utilize artificial intelligence technology to extract and reconstruct high-definition 3D visual structures from these biplane X-ray images. If 3D reconstruction using ultraspass X-ray can be realized, the radiation dose can be reduced by 90% to 99%. Professor Lee, who led the research, says the new technology only takes 30 seconds to generate a 3D bone model and can also create implants using 3D printing. The reconstructed models, she says, are more accurate compared to traditional CT scans. We validated this approach with approximately 120 patients. Compared to traditional 3D bone models from CT scans, our method, which relies solely on 2D X-ray images, achieves a reconstruction accuracy error of less than one millimeter. Also, the reconstruction time has been reduced from the original six hours to an average of 30 seconds. One orthopedic specialist says the AI-driven technology could help doctors to plan for surgeries more efficiently while easing the strain on public hospitals. Traditionally, using x-rays for diagnosis is insufficient, so CT scans are used to obtain a 3D spatial structure. This technology can avoid the high radiation exposure of CT scans while achieving nearly the same results. It will significantly reduce patients' exposure to radiation. For public hospitals, it will also shorten the waiting time for CT scans. This will be a major benefit for patients. The technology cannot be used yet until Professor Lee and her team of researchers conduct clinical trials in various public hospitals in Hong Kong. The trials are expected to start by the end of this year. Caroline B, CGTN.